day one of solar, five panels. It's currently it's creating sun's up there, look. Currently it's creating 730 watts. My battery is absolutely fucking rammed. That'll be producing for another half no, four hours at this rate. So normally we do all this washing at night on the cheap electricity at Economy 7. We've got to change what we do now. So I've just told Mr. to put the washing machine on because my battery's full. The solar's creamed out almost a kilowatt. If we wait till tonight to do the washing, it'll cost us the cheapest rate of electricity. If we do it now, it'll cost us absolutely fuck all. So I've literally got to change what I'm doing. So yeah, that's interesting. But yeah, I've only got five up. I'm just going to try and get the top rails up, um, tidy all the rubbish up, and just fucking tidy it up. It's got loads of fingerprints over it, which is doing my tits and all So I'll get that clean, not with the yard brush though. Yeah, just going to get it tidy up today. Maybe I'll earth it. It's meant to be important that. Also, I will stick up. Some people have asked for this. I will put these up. In a bit, I'll put the link to the software I use for the solar. Uh, I used AutoCAD for the design, so you can just use SketchUp. That's free if you want. It just probably just do it as good, but I can't use SketchUp, so I do AutoCAD. All in, cost-wise, I'm less than two grand for the rail, the panels, the inverter, the sundries, everything. All in, I'm less than two grand, and I expect to get two thousand kilowatts a year off that. So, didn't think that was bad going. I'm not putting individual prices and stuff to be honest, because I got to trade. So I'm not just going to start putting individual price up and stuff, but look online. I'm all in for two grand, so see what you can get. Here's a bit of full disclosure, because people keep messing me saying it looks spot on, yeah? Thank you very much. However, right, full disclosure, that gap there is sort of what I wanted. One, two, three, four, five. I could have actually fitted six on. But this gap here would have been right on the edge of the wall, and I just see that that would let wind get in and try and rip it off. Whereas if wind's coming this way and it's got a bit of a gap, I think that makes it better for ripping it off it's got to get in there which is less likely to do so full disclosure because we've got five on full disclosure as well see that that that's the center line that that uni the center line well that is not the center of that look down here look yeah that looks bang on i'm dead happy with that if you come down here yeah you see that's the fuck up really by rights i should move that that panel to the centre and jiggle all my panels around then whatever's left on the unistrut here I could cut off to make it look like that the question is can I be fucking bothered to do that it would hide that but I could have a piece of black metal made to fill that gap that looks a bit like a panel to make it right also that's my route up now that's my cable route up to those panels so I mean, realistically, can I be fucked to move it now? Probably not. Um, I'll put those centre. Oh, I don't know. I'm fucking... Basically, I've fucked it up when I'm admitting to it, lot. Burf. These are the brackets I've used. That's a centre bracket. But obviously, it comes with that aluminium zeb. That's the end bracket. And you'll see I fit a normal unistrut zeb to that. And there was no need, although I did buy some longer ones, for me to replace the bolts that came with these. That sits over a 40mm unit strut, no problem. Literally, all you have to do to these brackets, which I'll put the link of somewhere later, maybe on the YouTube of this video, is change the zeb, and they work perfectly. And they are, they grip, they're good brackets, they grip hard, they've got little straight edges and everything, so they really do grab onto them, which was great. So those top two... I've done a dry assembly over here lot because it's up in the air so I've done a full on dry assembly of them over there so I know they want to be 370 rails I know the rails don't want to be 20 centimetres from the end because it's the, the other way around so I'm doing 15 maybe even 10 so I know I can get my two rails up there no problem bit of jiggery poker with the lattice yeah I have got the panels there and I'm just making sure that I've done a dry assembly I'm going to see how the cabling works because I don't want to be fucking around up there putting the panels in I want to maybe try and get up there with a longer set of steps, but also I'm looking to maintenance in the future if I ever to take one down, what I would do. So I'm just having a fanny around with that at the minute. They're going dry assembly over there. They're going to dry assembly over there. I'm probably going to wire them together, then drop the cables behind these panels and just connect them at this end. So that if they ever have to come out, they could just be removed via plugs. So they will connect in landscape, obviously, because it's hard to do that. But with a finger gap here, which is about what you get on the bracketry, I won't be able to do any connecting up because I can't get my hands in. Because obviously there are more panels here. I'm thinking about making the middle panel removable on that side. And if I link out that to that and have these dropping down, I could possibly link it out without using any additional cabling. 
Let's go and have a look at that. If and when I get those bracket those up there, if I dropped ratchet strap behind this one and this one, I could take out the centre panel and do the wire in there. But that means I'd need to fit a rail like I've done down the bottom for those because effectively that rail's taking the weight. Take the middle panel out and you're well away. Hmm. Also, that TV bracket is in the way, the bastard. Right, here's what I'm doing. I'm doing the same again. I'm putting a rail, a weight rail on the top. So that those panels are totally independent from these. That means I'll have a 40mm gap at the top of the panel. So if I want to throw a strop behind and take out the centre panel, I can secure those panels. So I'm going to do exactly the same again. I'm going to put this weighting rail in, which I might make a little bit short because I don't need to go to the full end of the panel. Although it looked nice, but I might make it a bit short. I might just make it between the unis. And then I'm going to put those panels on top of that rail, as well as two rails to strap them down, because then those remove independently from them. And I know the next guy, which will be me, will be thankful that they're two separate sets of panels, separately maintainable. Then what I might do is on this rail, I'm considering a, well, I can't spray it now, but I could probably paint it black and it'd just stand out a bit less. But who fucking cares? Fucking aesthetically pleasing. Yeah, they are going on a separate rail, just decided. Thank you, Instagram for making me think out loud right i'm done for the day i've got some box leading to do tidy a few cables up put the earth on but i can do all that from the wall i've put the ladders away up there you'll see i've got my two rails in i think i'm going to put a third one in up there as well just because uh i can strap over them i need to move the tv aerial and i need to get a bit of unistruct from a waiting rail but it's ready to be honest these are kicking out that much um, I'll need those in winter. I don't need those at the minute. I mean, even now, I think I'm getting about 500 watts out of it, which is plenty for me. So I'll just part that bit of the job, put the panels up in the garden, strap them up, and I'll cross that bridge when I've got that aerial bracket, move that up, another rail, another two rails in the waiting rail of the middle rail. I've got to buy a few more of these brackets, tidy all this shit up and just have a play with it. So yeah, success, that is it for now. I am going to come out and clean all these grubby fingerprints off it though. I don't know what you use, but I'm sure Google will tell me, or one of you lot.